Okay, let's get started. So every time after removing my nails, I do need to cut and shape them. So I'll be doing that right now. And all the materials I will be using in this video is um, going to be described in the description and links will be provided. So I'm going to go ahead and shape my nails and I will file it to a mall to a almond shape type of nail because that's the shape I like. And I also have to kind of file the top of my nail because I will be doing a gel nail set today. And gel nails does not like oil on top because it will not stick. Remember to like and subscribe my channel if you enjoy nail art or nail type of videos. Um, during these um, unprecedented times, everyone needs to have a hobby and it's a little hard to go to a nail salon sometimes because of uh, COVID again. So I hope everyone can kind of learn a little something or so they can do their nails at home as well. The links and description to all the products I use today will be in the description below. Obviously, you want to get to the closer to the base of your nail as possible so it doesn't look like it's growing out quickly. Put it under the light. I will be using a combination of white, gray, and silver on my nail. So I will we'll be putting some on. So this is just a plastic that I use. It does get kind of old after I use it a lot, but I will be putting some of my color palette on here. So that I don't need to use my narrow pen. And, and dip it right into the bottle here. So the gray, the white. And silver. gray and white and the silver. And onto the gray. So I will be using all these different colors, there's a grey, a white, a silver, a black, and a blackish silver color. So 
Oh, I do need to take that I need more layers on top. Look at more 3D feel. No, this is one exactly you don't wanna be dipping into the bottle because you will be mixing the colors in your bottle. Uh, putting the um, UV lighting, the, the, um, the nail uh, in between will give you kind of a more layered look. Although I will be putting a uh, top coat right now, I, I will be This time, I will be using the same crisscross pattern, but I'm not going to do the full nail. I'm just going to do the top corner of the nail. Now I will be doing the art in the bottom corner. So like I said, I will be filing and shaping my nails. selecting this little triangle here because I do think it will match my nails I don't know it's a little small here but it shapes like this so I will apply a little glue at the bottom here to make it stick Put it right in the middle. And once I have it in the middle, I will put it under the light. Here we have it, all done. Make sure to moisturize your hands. Let me know if you like this style. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.